Well, if you're a book lover in the market for a new book, we have the best person to give you recommendations. Rona Brindley from the Bookmark is here. Rona, it's great to see you. You too. All we right. always have great new book for you. You got some good ones for us. Let Go for it. With, yeah. Let me start with this one, More Than Miracle. It's a debut novel, so it's the first time. And it's a great historical piece set on the cusp of World War I in London, very atmospheric. And it's a story of Yates and his wife, Georgie Hyde Lees and Ezra Pound and all the literaries of the time. And they get fascinated by seances and trying to connect with the afterlife. So it has enough tension to make a good history and a page turner, which is a hard combination to find. The next one is Julia Alvarez. She hasn't written a novel in 15 years, so her fans will be very excited. I'm a new fan. I'm embarrassed to say I'm just finding her, but I'm glad. This is a story about four sisters, one who's going through some changes and trying to figure her life out. And she realizes if she tries to be like everyone else, there'll be no one to be like her. So she finds her footing and finds her happiness, which is great. Love that. Love that. This what else? By, I know. This one by Mary Alice Monroe. This just cried, says, take me to the beach, right by the cover. And it's on Ocean Boulevard, which is very near to where the bookmark is, just down from Ocean Boulevard. This is on Sullivan's Island, classic Southern literature with love, redemption at the end, the dysfunctional family dealing with finances, loss of loves, and you know health issues and getting older. But they all come together and they figure it out. And there's always a happy ending in a good Southern book. So highly recommended for the beach. Love the happy ending. There we go. Gotta have a happy ending. Um, Simon the Fiddler. This is Paul F. Giles, and this is set in Texas, which makes you think really big anyway, because Texas is so huge. So it's a sweeping saga. It's right after the Civil War, and Simon is a fiddler. He was conscripted into the Confederate Army, and he was saved from going to battle because he played fiddle well, so he could play in the band. His only goal was to make enough money to find the woman of his dreams, buy some land and a home, and settle down. He falls in love with a young woman who's indentured to a Union officer, and then he pursues his dream. So you get a lot of Texas and a lot of history again. This, the Battle of Songbirds and Snakes. This is the Hunger Games. It's the prequel. So it's 64 years before the trilogy. It's got all of the excitement and the thrill and the Battle of the Hunger Games. And you meet some of the characters for later. And this is for, it says for ages 12 and up. And it's for every age. It's also reading this. And it's been translated into 53 languages. If that gives you any idea of the popularity, which is a lot, right? <laughs> I can't barely speak one language. Um, American Birds, and the important thing is the subtitle, it says, A Literary Companion. This is about birds, but it's not the science of birds. It's a chronology of writings. It can be a journal, like from Thoreau or um, Lewis and Clark, or poetry, like Robert Frost, and even Ogden Nash, who has a great, great quote in there about something like, you know, I'm the Audubon that I ought to bend. So he's not a great birder, but so it gives you some great stuff about birds and some good introductions to different authors and um, explorers. And then finally, I think, you know, everybody's stuck at home still, and the summer is up for grabs of what's going to happen. And this is Florida best-selling mystery author Randy Wayne White, and he's written a book for middle grade readers. It's about Doc Ford and his main character. He hires some kids to help tag some sharks and find the poachers. So it's a great mystery, a great page turner for all ages, and the family can enjoy it together. Something for everyone. I love it. All great recommendations. That prequel for Hunger Games, that one looks really, really yeah. good. <laughs> you never get enough, right? So this, and it's fat and juicy, so you won't be disappointed. Love it. All right, folks, we're going to put this on the web website. You can check it out at firstcoastliving.net.